Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd like to read to you a message I received from Mexi Mex uh, last week. And this was just after Max Maven passed. And this, this particular video is a dedication to the great Max Maven. So here's what Mexi said. As we have just heard the bad news about Max Maven, how about a retrospective on him? What a loss to the magic community. Max really was a walking encyclopedia of magic knowledge. I was fortunate enough to have met him on a few occasions and despite his, gr and despite his grumpy image, he was actually very warm and friendly and happy to sit and chat about magic at length. Another of the greats is gone, and that's from Mexi Mex. Thank you so much, Mexi, for <clears throat> alerting my attention to it. Of course, it was all over the internet within a couple of days. Uh, there were tributes on Facebook and so on, tributes in, on YouTube, and I wanted to add my two cents to what's already been done. <clears throat> As you probably know, I like to give a little bit of biography. Uh, Max Maven was born Phil Goldstein on December 21st, 1950. Crossed over November 1st, 2022. So he was in his 70s. And in my opinion, that's, that's much too young. Uh, <clears throat> so we lost a great and we lost a great uh, too soon. Magic Magazine named him one of the hundred most influential magicians of the 20th century. <clears throat> he grew up largely in Boston, where he became known for his performances at night spots. Formerly, before he went into magic full-time, he was a radio DJ in the Boston area. He was a consultant to David Copperfield, Penn and Teller, Siegfried and Roy, and Doug Henning. His name was changed legally to Max Maven, but he still used Phil Goldstein as a pen name for technical writings. He was a magic historian. He was particularly proficient when it came to understanding the origins of effects and tricks and their backgrounds. He was a particular advocate of giving credit where credit is due. It was very important to Max to make sure that as, a, as an effect developed and evolved, that the originators of the effect got credit for that. <clears throat> Very few people, in, in my mind, understand magic history the way Max Maven did. We have many great historians. We have Mike Caveney, we have Jim Steinmeier, we have John Gahn. We have many great magic historians active and working today. But I remember going into Denny and Lee's uh, studio and talking to Denny and I would ask Denny about origins of effects and particular points in magic history and, and Denny was encyclopedic. He would know these things. He would share with me the lineage of, of certain effects and where it came from and, and who did it and who developed it. Max Maven was probably the most proficient magic historian when it came to understanding the lineage uh, of, of anyone anyone around. And I really am concerned that losing somebody like Max, where do we go? Where does magic go from here? When, when we lose someone who has the value set that says it's really important to give credit where credit is due. It is really important to understand the lineage of what it is we're doing. Uh, you know, I, I, I just wonder uh, who's going to step up, who's going to take that spot. I would love to do it myself, but I don't have the, the encyclopedic knowledge that is necessary. Uh, Max Maven gave his entire life to magic. He devoted his entire existence to it. He was devoted not only to perfecting his performances, but understanding where he came from, understanding the history of the art. And so he brought all that to us. Uh, and, and I think it's a tragic loss for the magic community because of the value that he brought to the table. Now I want to share with you a few things that he's created. If, if you don't already have these, I highly recommend them to you. Max Maven's Video Mind. There are three. Phase one is Parlor Mentalism. 
Phase two is close-up mentalism. And phase three is stage mentalism. And uh, you will find some wonderful material on these DVDs. So I highly recommend them to you. A few years later, after he produced these, he came out with this, Max Maven, nothing. The point of this video, what, what do you do when you need to do a show, a full show, but you have nothing? You have no props, you have no pre-setup, you have no pre-show, you have nothing. No pre-show, no stooges, no clipboards, no nail writers, no playing cards, no ESP cards, no billets, no wallets, no gaffs, no gimmicks, no special materials, no muscle reading, no hypnotism, no threads, no mirrors, no electronics, no rough smooth, no Gilbreth principle, no filler. That's what's on this video. This video is chock full of material that you can do uh, shopping in the grocery store or going to your local staples or, or, or office supply shop. You can get the materials. You can do a show based on the, the materials you can find just about anywhere and that's what this video is about. Excellent video. Another reference. We, we talk a lot about adamant in the field of mentalism. We talk about a lot about practical mental effects and the jinx and the wealth of material that is there. I will tell you, 13 steps to mentalism, Adamant's practical mental effects and Max Maven's prism are the three most important books for any developing mentalist. If you do not own prism, stop, go out and buy it right away, even if you're not devoted to mentalism as a specialty. The material you will find in here is absolutely stellar. This, in fact, it's hard to say because because I've gotten great material from Practical Mental Effects, I've gotten great material from 13 Steps, but I've gotten really great material from this too. So, I, I mean, in my mind, the three of those books are on the same level. This is destined to become a classic in the same sense that Practical Mental Effects and 13 Steps already is. So, Max, thank you so much. Um, Maxi Max, thank you so much for calling my attention to the tragedy of our loss, for asking me to do a retrospective on this great person. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment down below. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.